Good morning, everyone, wherever you are in the world. This is Kimberly with Adelante um, with part two of our Setting Expectations um, webinar. Again, normally we're answering your questions. This one we felt was really important based on some reviews we got as people were coming off of their um, summer programs. Um, so in the previous Setting Expectations, we talked about that, kind of what you get in a program abroad. In this one, I want to talk more about to kind of the bigger picture. Um, we are not solely focused on the academic part or the safety part. I think a lot of programs, because that's what parents want to see and also that's like so easy to hang your hat on, are just solely focused on that. And we feel like that's too one-dimensional. We feel like there should be focus on that, but it should be equally focused also the experiential part. In other words, the part that happens when you're not in the classroom or when you're not in your internship. So um, experien experiential learning is a huge part of that, and the expectation word around that um, just doesn't apply anywhere. You shouldn't really have any expectations of what you're going to learn or what you're going to become after this time abroad. You should do your research. You should ask a lot of questions, and I know that it's human nature to, based on that, build some expectations. But you should also, if you're a good candidate for independent programs like this, understand that you're ex it's, no, it's a human nature to have expectations. They should be right here. Let a margin exist around it because the only way to know what's going to happen in your program abroad is to actually go and live it. So it's okay to go and live it with this baggage of expectations, but it has to be balanced by knowledge that the reality, right, when you get there is going to be different than anything you could or should ever expect. So that's kind of our key thing right now. Um, when we're educating you guys, we want you to ask about your internship. We want you to ask about your housing. Definitely study the part of the world that you're going to, and then with that knowledge, it's okay to have an expectation, but just not the expectation and everything has to fit within that box. Know that there's going to be stuff that, thankfully, right, that you can't learn about on the internet and then that you can't control, that you're going to live through an experience when you're there. And that's really going to be what you unpack when you get home and reflect upon. And that's really what's going to make you different, I think, better than a lot of people around you. And honestly, that's what people like future job prospects, that's what they're going to ask you about. They don't really want to know exactly what you did in that internship in Chile. They want to know about how did you come to go there and how did you live there and what did you learn. I mean, it's I promise that's all, what people are going to talk about is your experience there, not the details of the, you know, event that you organized or of the, um, you know, business plan you put together. So I hope this helps. Um, any questions, you know, we'd always love to have you. You have our website, adelanteabroad.com. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.